vanilla, a bit of pear, a bit of fruitiness. Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. Today we have a look at the Wild Turkey 81. And yeah, I've been at the Wild Turkey Distillery. If you are interested in the distillery, then please follow this link here. And you will learn a lot about the distillery. I will summarize a few key facts. The Wild Turkey Distillery um, is a Kentucky straight bourbon distillery and it uses only non-GMO grains and I think they use rye from Germany. Can't remember. I've, I've talked about this in, in the video. Um, and they take great pride in making a very good product. For example, when they cook their grains, they don't use overpressure. They only cook to 100 degrees Celsius, which is a boiling temperature of water. I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit, so sorry for that. I can do the proof, but I can't do the Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit is just a bit weird. Um, and it matured for six to eight years in casks. They don't ride it here in the front. They ride it here. Uh, we age ours longer up to six to eight years in charred American white oak. So, hmm. so at least six years. So you could argue this is a age statement whiskey with uh, six years because it says six to eight years. You could argue that. Um, it has no coloring because it's a bourbon. Um, it's 40.5% alcohol by volume. Uh, that means it's 81 proof. And I think that's why they call it 81. Oh, they have proof behind that. So 81 proof. And what they also do is they um, barrel their barrels at low proofs so they don't have to dilute the the finished whiskey in the end down to the 81 proof with so much water so they can dilute it with less water and get a more intense bourbon so you should dilute your whiskey before barreling not after barreling to get a more intense flavor that adds a bit of extra cost you got because you gotta have more barrels to store your whiskey so enough said Let's do the tasting. Mm, I ripped off a little bit of the... And they never work. They never work as they're supposed to do. Ooh, it's a real cork. smell sweet smell of bourbon already mm -hmm. vanilla a bit of pear a bit of fruitiness mm. a bit of sp spiciness out mm -hmm. It's, it's strange, it's, it is, yeah, it is a typical bourbon. It's just sweet, vanilla, caramel, paired with a bit of fruitiness and spiciness. And the fruitiness is more of a fresh fruitiness. Oh. Mmm, mmm. Ooh, a refreshed taste. Bit of a citric apple pear thing going on. Bit of a minty freshness as well. Mmm, very fresh for a bourbon. But nah, yeah, now comes the, the typical bourbon taste of vanilla, caramel, sweetness bit of a sticky note. Mm. It's a 
it's a light bourbon, I would say. Mm? It's a light bourbon. Easy, easy drinking light bourbon. It's not as as smooth as let's say a Tennessee whiskey or like a smart, but it's a a light and fresh bourbon with a sweetness in the end. Mm. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Second sip is like the first sip. Vanilla appears. Bit of citric. And now it comes into the, the normal bourbon taste. Mm. So it's a, a good example for a light American Kentucky straight bourbon. Do they say straight? Yeah, they say straight. Okay, thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to know more about the Kentucky distillery, then please uh, go to whiskey.com. We have a whole article about history, who it belongs now. We have the video with your on there and a lot of pictures how the Kentucky straight bourbon of wild turkey is produced. So thank you very much for watching. And before I forget, if you comment below the video, then um, we will read the comments, but we will not uh, answer the comments. I'm sorry. But now in the in the forum, you can now um, go on to login and you can log in with your Google account. So it's, it's really convenient. It's just two or three clicks and uh, host and I will answer all your questions in the forum. Yeah, thanks for watching.